My name is Pat Harned. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the Ethics and Compliance Initiative. The ECI is a nonprofit organization that is actually two nonprofits together in a strategic alliance. One nonprofit focuses on research to help identify the drivers of integrity in organizations. And the second nonprofit is a membership association for ethics and compliance practitioners from global organizations. I first came to the organization's name at the time was the Ethics Resource Center in 1999. So I've been here for a little over 20 years. I became president, at first my title was president in 2004. I probably like most people in our field, I fell into ethics and compliance as a career path. I grew up thinking that I wanted to be a teacher, so all of my degrees are actually in education. I'm not from, don't have an MBA, I don't have a law degree, I'm a non-traditional person in this field. Um, but I had been working in higher education administration and became interested in how people learn a sense of ethics because I had seen several incidents happen on the university campus where I was working, where I felt the institution didn't really respond well and that I was working on my PhD at the time. So I became interested in learning about how people learn integrity. I then from there got involved with a nonprofit organization, decided higher ed wasn't quite right for me. So I was writing curriculum for schools to help teachers teach ethics in the classroom. And I was recruited to come to then the Ethics Resource Center to start up a program in character education to help secondary schools, help the emerging workforce to have a better sense of ethics and values, and so to help the organization figure out how to teach that. Um, but I was here for not very long. I was the only PhD in the organization, and I inherited more and more oversight of what the ERC then did. So I transitioned from working with schools to working with business organizations and now governments and nonprofits, all different types of organizations. Our focus is on organizations and ethics and compliance teams. So while everybody in our field measures success by how many members do you have, we actually measure our success by how many organizational members do we have, how many different organizations are represented regardless of the level. Um, so we serve primarily corporations, but not exclusively. We have a number of government organizations and nonprofits. Anybody that's in the ethics and compliance industry as a part of their organization and part of what they do, they are welcome to be a part of our association. The vast majority are from probably Fortune 1000 corporations. There are, with every year, there are lots of different and new emerging issues that people in our profession face. Um, and, and most recently, those issues have included things like data privacy. Um, it's included things like human rights issues, the challenges that come with globalization, challenges of sustainability of their organizations. Um, but that said, there are also issues that are constantly challenges for people in our profession. Things like try, trying to create a speak up environment trying to encourage people to come forward and report concerns to their corporations so that problems can be mitigated um, without fear of retaliation. Retaliation in the workplace is an evergreen topic. Uh, we are regularly surveying our members to ask them about what kinds of events can we put on, what new research, what topics can we be providing resources on that will be most helpful to you. And they're almost always with every poll uh, speaking up, retaliation, sexual harassment in the workplace, um, conducting effective risk assessments, measuring success. Those are the evergreen challenges for people in our profession. So, so a topic that comes up 
relatively frequently, but it's an interesting topic when people raise it, is environmental issues. Um, partially whether that happens to be uh, compliance with environmental regulation, that's far more popular and certainly an issue that I think people in our profession are touching more and more. A, a topic that also comes up because it's a, a huge issue for our world is global warming and what are the climate change issues and what's a corporation's responsibility for that. So I, I would say that it's an area that is of interest to practitioners because it's an emerging issue. But as it is right now, for better or worse, it's not something that's falling within the portfolio of a typical ethics and compliance practitioner in a corporation. Um, and I think that that's probably a function of the way the ethics and compliance uh, department is structured. It, it falls into somebody else's area of responsibility in a corporation. Um, but I also think that the other thing that goes along with that is that our profession is changing a lot and the people who are becoming ethics and compliance practitioners are very specifically focused on the things that are their responsibility, more so than they were five or 10 years ago.